So let's take a look at two nesting boxes. This is the one I've been using from Amazon. It cost $80. It has three positions for hens to nest, three separate nesting boxes. Um, I've been using this for a while. The girls really took a liking to it. The eggs rolled down without a problem. The manual was a little brutal, just came with pictures, but very easy to set up. The overall dimensions of this guy are uh, 31 and a half inches. The steel to me seems pretty much the same with this even being like a little thinner than this solid steel of the, the Amazon. I was expecting more there from hen gear. I have watched some reviews on the hen gear and when we uh, at, went up to 15 birds, I said, let me, uh, let me get the small hen gear so they have two of these. Some things I noticed when I was putting them together I wanted to speak about because a lot of people will think these $80 ones on Amazon might be junk, but we've had really good luck with this and it's, it's strong. It is, it is a strong, <laughs> it's a strong uh, nesting box. So when I was assembling the hen gear, some things came up about quality, you know, paying for, I'm always going to spend the money at American quality if I can, but some things I noticed that are kind of like, are you, are you kidding me? It's kind of embarrassing is the first one is the sticker is all crooked. Not a big deal. You can just take the sticker off, right? Then this nesting box from Amazon here doesn't, doesn't have a back. And I did like that about the back of the hen gear. So if we go behind the hen gear, it does have a back. But you, you can't you can't open it so if I get a bird in there you know one of my hens is in a bad mood doesn't want to leave I can't I can't open this and that's because the the inside has got the pad down now I can pull the pad up a little bit or cut the back of the pad uh, to, to make that fit so I can raise the roost bar here pull out or cut off some of this pad you know and then the back oh, still won't still won't open and oh, still won't open it's stuck on something it's stuck on something over there this also has to be really I've had to bend this plate here to get it to sit kind of flat when I first put it in it was way up on an angle like that really needed to be to be bent back now if I pull that forward let's see no I still still can't open it so uh, Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Push, push down on that. So I, ha I still have to. Looks like bend this corner down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now when I put the padding in, I might have to trim a little bit of the back of the padding to get that to fit. But that was that's a little quirky that this just didn't fit into place nicely. All right. So now the pads in, sitting flat. And we can't open it again, so that'll have to be trimmed. Then, for me, when I get that to work, I thought that I'd be able to mount clips from some reviews I, I watched. It seemed like this either had a magnet or to be able to mount these clips here. But these clips here are way too high to do anything. So I will have to modify these maybe by bending this 90 degree angle down and then I can get those to work, but I didn't think it would need any modification. So to make this work, you really have to back mount it if you want a front, uh, front access to your eggs. Um, it does roll, it does roll fine. The eggs roll fine forward on, on both of them really well. But like I said, this metal br brace underneath, uh, plan on bending that to fit. Just don't throw that in and expect it to be perfect. Mine was built, bent at such an angle that the eggs wouldn't roll through. This nesting box is over $200 shipped. It was $220 shipped here. So for me to have to, you know, modify that, that support in the bottom and these not line up to, and to back up anything here, you know, that's not going to stop anything. Um, it was just a little extreme, but say, same with this one. I put some legs on it. It didn't need legs, but I put some legs on it to raise it up. But I don't see anything wrong with this $80 one from, from Amazon. It went together fairly easy. It went together easier than the hen gear. There are a couple of bolts on the hen gear. This, these top corner ones are really uh, a little tough to get in. Here on the hen gear, expect to use some needle nose pliers. They don't sink. They don't countersink it in to the wood here. So you can spin this lock nut 
as much as you want trying to hold it with your fingers, but it's not going to start this nut, this bolt, through without a pair of needle nose vice grips or any type of vice grip as you start tightening that. That's not mentioned in, in the manual. So overall, I think it's a, it's a good nest box. Like I said, this one is 31 and a half inches long. This is 24. The Amazon one that I bought is 13 wide. The hen gear is 12 wide. Um, this one has the plastic trays to, to get on. It seems like to me it would be a lot more comfortable for one of my hens to stand on this and, and go in. This one doesn't have curtains, but it does have the red, so they were attracted to it right away. This one is a lot more narrow of an opening from, from hen gear. And you know, the hen gear, you watch the videos, they said they've tested this and the hens like this uh, size opening, but this is only seven inches that allows them to get in. And this here is 13 inches for this one from Amazon for 80 bucks. Um, this one also doesn't have individual comp you know, compartments for nesting. And they said that during research, they like that better. And this will do up to, this will support up to 20 hens. But what if you get a broody hen? If I get a broody hen that doesn't want to leave the box, I can't even get to her this way to push her out without modifying something inside. I'm going to have to cut that mat to be able to kind of persuade her out. Where with my Amazon one, I'm able to just slide this forward a little bit and be like, get out of there. What are you doing? Get out. You're fresh. You know, and then get her out. This way, I would have to go in hands first. And if she's pissed off, she might not like that, me coming in that way. So do I think this is worth more than double what I paid for this? This was 80 with free shipping at my door the next day. This was 220 and it took about a week and a half to get here. First thing I noticed was that crooked sign. And I was like, you gotta be, gotta be kidding me. This right here, no, these are just little things, but none of these are bent. When you tighten these up, you gotta modify them. Those are like bent right there, bent right there, bent right there. This is just being picky, but like I said, more than double the price, bent right there to, uh, to get it to work. And I really thought that I would have some type of opening there, but I will have to, to modify that. So just venting a little bit, but the only reviews that I saw on the hen gear were for sponsored people who got them for free. And I started with this. I really like this one. Um, yeah, and this is not what I was expecting for $220. My hens have a large run. It's 20 feet long. So I'll probably keep one of them in the coop and one outside for, for 15 now. Do I think this would support 20 hens? I doubt it, especially if you get one who's in a mood and doesn't want to leave. I think you'll find eggs all over your run or outside. You'll be, you'll be looking for them if you get one who's you know, pissed off and doesn't want to leave or thinks, takes this over. With these, it's very easy. They're separated. They have plenty of room inside. And they, these things are strong. You know, I, I, I could pick this whole thing up with one and carry it around. I've never had any issues with it. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on these, like I said, I think it'll do its job. It's way better than a wooden one. I like how it locks this, unless you raise it up. But, you know, for, for $220, I think they, I think it should be pristine compared to uh, what you're getting and the modifications you need to, to make. Maybe, maybe they'll improve it. I did watch a video where they put these latches on and I can get these latches to work by bending down this 90 and putting it on there. Then they'll work. But the first thing I have to tackle is being able to open this uh, if a hen is in there and I want her out.